Well, new data coming in still points to a significant major winter storm at all out nor'easter with heavy snow, double digit snowfall accumulations, strong winds. Uh, a lot to cover, so let's get started. And, uh, you know, dry conditions in Providence. Uh, we don't have any weather issues. And while we may see you know, just uh, some scattered snow showers on Friday, the storm itself is still slated uh, to arrive very late Friday night uh, after midnight and certainly centered. On Saturday, as you know, if you want to you know, categorize you know, the kind of storm that we're anticipating on a scale from marginal, slight, moderate, major, and extreme, I would say easily on this dial, major, uh, you know, to borderline extreme, considering the kind of snowfall totals that we're we're forecasting now, and some of the strong wind gusts that we're forecasting as well. So the combination of very heavy snow and strong wind, uh, that risk is there. I would say at least uh, you know a moderate risk of potential power outages. The wind gusts 40 to 50, gusting over 60 along the coastline. Significant snowfall, and we'll show you those numbers again in just a second. So statewide, be prepared for the potential for some uh, power uh, power outages and disruptions. So I. Threat tracker now through Friday and really even into early Friday evening is low. This doesn't really kick in until well after midnight, and as we mentioned before, certainly on Saturday, high end storm with heavy accumulating snow, strong wind, and very difficult to almost impossible travel, poor visibility, strong winds, and at times it may be near blizzard conditions. Blizzard criteria is actually based on uh, wind gusts and visibility, and we'll certainly meet that criteria at times, uh, but we will have on top of that a lot of heavy snow as well. In the meantime, it is quiet and cold. Temperatures that are in the uh, the lower 20s right now, including 20 in Providence. Uh, off to our west, there are a few snow showers that will try to come through during the overnight hours. This is all ahead of a cold front that will just reinforce uh, some of the colder air in our area. So this will guarantee that this is an all snowstorm. There's no rain mixing in. At the same time, moisture is starting to take shape off the Florida coastline. There's a little disturbance in the upper part of the atmosphere. Right back in here, doesn't look like much as this dives off to the south. It'll help to initiate the, uh, the storm development and also the track up the coastline. And the net result will be a nor'easter tracking uh, off our coast by Saturday morning and into uh, Saturday evening. So let's jump ahead to Friday evening at 8 o'clock. Here is New England, and there's the developing storm off the Carolina coastline. The more concentric yellow lines that you see, the stronger the storm is, the stronger the wind. This is 8 o'clock in the morning with a strip of very heavy snow and strong wind. Uh, the height of the storm during the afternoon and early evening, wrapping up east of Cape Cod. This is the classic track for a uh, very heavy snow and damaging wind. Uh, into Saturday evening at around 8 o'clock, still some strong wind. Even when the snow shuts down, the snow is going to be very dry. It has a dry texture to it. So a lot of blowing and drifting. You clear the road, the snow gets blown back over. So it's that kind of a deal. And then later tomorrow night, the storm pulls away. Uh, not tomorrow night, Saturday night, the storm pulls away up into the Canadian Maritimes. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to do a, a, a general region-wide, statewide accumulation forecast, all locations, whether it's north or south, generally 15 to 20 inches of snow. Our original forecast of 12 to 18 will go 15 to 20 with near blizzard conditions at times. And we actually have some of our computer guidance with amounts slightly higher in that you know, 23, 24 inch range. So significant snow and significant wind. You can see the wind gusts that we're forecasting along the south shore on Saturday, 60 to 70 miles per hour, and then gusts of 45 to 55 further inland. And why we think there's, oh, there'll be some blizzard conditions at times with this storm. So for both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, there may be some light snow in the air, but it's just light snow showers. It's not the actual storm itself, but extra clouds and a few scattered snow showers during the afternoon, afternoon, the temperatures reaching the lower 30s. Seven day forecast shows our storm on Saturday all day. Look at the temperature 25. There's no rain involved. We're back to sunshine, cold, and dry weather on Sunday with uh, temperatures in. Uh, the middle 20s. So, as mentioned earlier, this is uh, Mike and Shannon, a classic nor'easter and an intense one at that. Wouldn't surprise me uh, if the Weather Service does issue some sort of a blizzard watch for a portion of our area on Friday. That's something that we'll keep an eye on and certainly keep updated to a forecast now through Friday night. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next.